Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. You endured 24 hours without me. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to talk about the crypto market. We're going to talk about Bitcoin, about Shiba Inu. We're going to talk about what did Donald Trump just do or announce? What did Google just do? Did Google just remove Bitcoin? What does that mean? What could that, you know, what could be going on there? We'll also go me talk about some uh, warnings from the Shiba Inu team and 3.78 trillion Shiba Inu in the last 24 hours. OMG. <sighs> Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. I took, you know, a little bit of time off. It's okay. It's normal. It was like, you know, holy day. So I was like, okay, holy day. You know, you got to you gotta take a little bit of vacation there. Nothing too crazy happens. Uh, there, there was uh, some sirens, uh, but, uh, you know, in, in the end, uh, the kids were outside, but, uh, you know, th they went into to a building. It was all good. It was all good. I know some of you were you know, interested in what's going on with me and, you know, because you didn't see me for 24 hours. You're like, I hope Avi's okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's all good. We're going to talk about the crypto market. The market pumped a little bit while I was away. Um, and I already saw, you know, videos <laughs> coming up it's happening right you know people are like don't you know pump it right and it just after one day of green in in october right still the month is in the red although um we'll talk about what happened there all i ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out the good good vibes especially smash that like button to help out with the almighty youtube algorithm and now because you you guys have had a lack of this in the past few days i'm gonna gonna give you a little treat a Shiba Shi. So if we look at the market here, we can see Bitcoin is sitting at 62,850, down half a percent on the day. It did get to 63,400, almost 500 there. Shiba Inu went over 1,800. Uh, over the weekend at 1813 was the high here for Shiba Inu, but it has pulled back 1770 minus 0.8 percent on the day. Uh, if we look at the four hour chart, we can see that we hit the top of the stochastic RSI. So this is not too surprising that we're seeing a little bit of a pullback here for Shiba Inu for Bitcoin. You can see we went from the bottom of the stochastic RSI in the four hour when Bitcoin hits 58,000, and now we're at the top. So you know it made about a six percent move in about two days and eight hours uh, so yes we're down from the local high that we saw yesterday but we're still up you know from a few days ago uh, on Je uh, october 10th which was the the low of the of the month so far uh, and so this is interesting uh we if we go to the fear you can see we went from fear to jumped up suddenly to neutral, right? So I told you this, uh, you know, two days ago, three days ago, last time we spoke, that the fear can change very fast and the, and the sentiment can change very fast. And we went from, oh my God, this is the worst October ever to, oh my God, we're going to the moon to probably today, what's going on? Why didn't we pump, right? Uh, this, is, this is how the crypto market, it changes. This is how the sentiment changes. It's normal. We're, we're people. We're humans. <laughs> That's how our psyche uh, works. But you know, I keep telling you, you guys and gals, I keep my emotions in the middle. So if we go up a little bit, it's, I'm, I'm not jumping for joy. We go down a little bit, I'm not jumping for joy. I've, I've, you know, seen ups and downs. I've made money. I've lost money. Um, and at the end of the day, I think that you know my experience is starting to come into play here where I know how to ride it, I ride these waves up and down, right? And if you're if you're not used to it, if you if you don't have this experience, then you get too mentally invested, you get too mentally strained, and you either tap out before the big movements happen, uh, or you and you you come back, you know, when it's close to all time highs, or you just quit altogether and you never come back. Um, and probably a lot of people that, you know, quit, uh, you know, back in a few years, you know, when we were at the low uh, a few years ago, right, already, you know, this is already a long time ago when we when we hit the low uh, in December of 2022. So think about this, it's almost two years since we saw the low uh, of the cycle at 15,000. So, you know, a lot of people tapped out around here, 
and they'll probably they haven't come back yet they'll probably come back out you know when bitcoin hits 100,000 that's probably when we're going to see them once again um, no real big economic stuff going on this week except the initial jobless claims that's coming out on Thursday uh, but outside of that there's nothing really um you know something that could shock the markets um so that's going to be interesting to see this week because there's nothing that could really shock the markets how is it going to react how is it going to behave so interesting like there's there's nothing really unless you know like ww3 starts <laughs> um, there's nothing really to shock the, the system um so it'll be interesting to see uh what happens with that unless someone comes out with some news or something you know uh let's look at the bubbles a little bit uh you seen this one spx that's gone bananas uh it's another meme coin uh spx 690 i'm just watching that it jumped into the top 100 and we had this one also nero jumped into the top 100 there's a lot of uh, uh, uh meme coins now in the top 100 this one mog as well so meme coins are, are strong in this narrative and it will be interesting to see uh you know how many meme coins do we end up with in the top 100 uh, you know, in a few months from now, that's going to be very interesting. I think that meme coins is going to be one of the biggest narrative, uh, of course, AI and gaming and things like that. But uh, memes will always be memes, right? Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Interestingly, Google has removed Bitcoin price and chart from its search results. So I tested this and, and also when I Googled, I did not see um, the chart, which you used to see. Whoops. Wait a second, let's get this back here. Um, you used to see the chart, right? Uh, and uh, now you don't see anything. It used to be in shekels, right? So it would look a lot more. <laughs> Maybe it can do ATM. No, that didn't help. Bitcoin near me, no. Um, but uh, it's it's gone. So uh, we're not seeing that. Uh, and it's going to be interesting to see uh, potentially, you know, if what's the reason why google did this right are they changing their algorithm like what's going on this is ah so this is where it is there this is uh this is the, the secret right <laughs> if you were scared about this they moved it to the google finance right so but i don't understand why they did it it's making a lot of runs on twitter so if you're like whoa they, they removed it this is why it moved it moved to uh and Lior helped us out here uh they moved it to the that's my wife's name by the way uh it's for boys and girls uh, <laughs> um the the price is moved to uh the google finance app so if you're if you're if you googled and you're like why well, no price that's the reason why donald trump launches his own crypto token on tuesday october 15th becoming the first u.s president to drop a crypto former u.s president maybe the potential new u.s president According to all the things that I'm seeing and, you know, SNL uh, joking uh, about, uh, you know, Kamala. And the, so I don't know what's going on. You guys let me know. I'm not really, you know, we have all our stuff going on here. Uh, all, I, all I know is what's from Twitter. I don't watch the, the news um, here also. I, don't, I just don't do it uh, because it's too sad. <laughs> Every day it's another, you know, sad, sad stop story um so i don't watch the news and um all i and i you know read articles and stuff but you know i have to watch, read more about crypto and, and finance and stuff like that in basketball that's that's what i'm interested in um so let me know like what's the word on the street like what's the feeling on the street in the united states of america i know 60 percent of you guys are from the u.s so what's what's the feeling like are people you know thinking if the Republicans going to win, Democrats going to win, what's, what's the feeling uh, on the street? It'd be interesting to see what happens with his token. Um, it's not his token. It's like his family, his kids token uh, and their, their company. But it's going to be very interesting to see what happens here. And does the, does the crypto market embrace uh, Donald Trump? Uh, so far, you know, we haven't had the, the Donald pump so much. Uh, you know, we had him uh, going to the Bitcoin conference and speaking there um, and we thought, oh, Donald's going to go and it's going to go to the moon and that didn't happen. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens uh, with that. A crucial warning from the Shiba Inu team here to Trustwatch. Scammers are exploiting vulnerable situations for fake donation, donations in time of crisis such as natural disasters and stuff like that. Going to have these campaigns that a lot of them are scams. 
Uh, so just be careful out there. We've talked about this a lot in the in the last few weeks, as I think we'll get, because I'm hoping that October will be an October, right? October will be an October in the end, and we'll have a nice month here uh, to, to start us uh, for the fourth quarter. That there's going to be more and more scams. There's going to be more and more people trying to convince you to to join groups. And like, if I, if you ever see someone that looks like me or with my picture or you know, name, it's not me. It's a scammer. Uh, don't click on any links that promise free airdrops and all kinds of things like that. Uh, don't click on any links on Twitter. Like, if you want to go for an article, Google it by yourself. Like, I'm I'm just I'm very paranoid because I've seen so many things. I saw this, um, someone's talking about how he had his seed phrase in Google Drive. Uh, I know many of us take pictures of it and put it up on Google Drive and Google, uh, you know, photos and things like that. Well, apparently we talked about this before. There was some kind of app that people were downloading or all kinds of apps that had like a, a, a malicious code in it that was scanning a Google Drive and Google Photos and was able to uh, extract seed phrases from those photos um so you got to be careful out there you don't you don't know you know just just be careful uh and and make sure you you know what you're getting into and you know there's like it's it's so it's you know it's scary but you see fidelity got hacked as well so you got to be careful you got to be on it uh you got to distribute your stuff and just you know what watch out what's uh happening uh, another one that's uh, been doing good recently is uh sui SUI, right? We've talked about it uh, before on the channel. I just wanted to mention it. I have been making uh, some nice trades. I made two two very nice trades on Sui uh, over the past uh, two days uh, using our partner Margex. So if you are interested, link is in the description down below. I think I did like 300% and then 500%. Um, so yeah, it was a uh, it was a good yeah uh, it was a good. Uh, few few days there um so let's see this was the 500 percent um uh, so it, there's opportunities in these markets even if there's you know it feels like maybe we're a little bit slow or things are not you're not cooking um uh, but just you know if you're using leverage be careful out there because you can make a lot of money but you can lose a lot of money like i said it's, uh, I, I showed you that position but i've also had positions where i got liquidated and lost all the money um so be very very careful out there go in with a plan go in with a trading plan risk first reward plan um and and trade responsibly we do have uh, the the uh competition that's still going on so if you're interested uh be part of the prize pool uh link is in the description down below sign up uh, you'll get some bonuses but again please 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 raid responsibly 3.78 trillion shiba inu in the last 24 hours shiba inu price skyrocketed seven percent uh we talked about uh, shiba inu there uh it did pull back a little bit with the rest of the market <laughs> it seemed like for a second there we might be pumping big uh and outside of you know sui was pumping for example, but Shiba Inu moved up, uh, moved up here, but did not, you know, did not get back to the 2000 level, did not get back to even the 1885, which we were uh, on Sun Sunday, October 6th was uh, last week. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. We did get a crossover here on the 1348 EMA uh, on the four hour chart. Uh, so we'll, we'll continue to track that and see. So what was the 3.7 trillion? According to Insu Block, Shiba Inu large transaction volume came into 3.78 trillion Shiba Inu or 66.61 million in US dollar terms. Uh, and this is an increase of 46.79% in the last few days. We see this when we have some movement, when we have some excitement, suddenly we see a little bit more large transactions. We see a little bit more interest from uh, the big dogs, from the big the big assets. Uh, and so, you know, it will be interesting to see uh, where, where the market goes from here. Uh, Sunday is always a tricky day. Sometimes Sunday is a fun day, right? But recently we've seen that uh, after a pop-up on Friday, the market usually sells off on Sunday. So we had Friday pop-up, um, but we did not see yet. Uh, Saturday was good, right? Let's just look last Sunday, Friday. Thursday, Friday, right? And that Sunday was a little bit of a pullback. Then Monday was bad, and of course we had all the all the action that was happening uh, towards uh, the Iran-Israel situation, and you know, the day before the the uh, October, 
All right? So last Sunday was was okay, but sometimes Sundays we see these sell off, we see uh, a gaps closing on the futures. Um, so just be careful about that and know that there's a possibility if you're trading today that uh, you want to you want to be careful out there and, and lock things in. This was interesting uh, with this uh, back to the future uh, situation. Uh, actor Christopher Lloyd appeared in a DeLorean NFT commercial that featured a Shiba Inu dog. This is not going unnoticed by the Shiba Inu community. Uh, and we even had uh, Satoshi Kusama uh, tweeting about it. Uh, will this be a potential partnership? Uh, we did not get any details about it, uh, but uh, DeLorean and Shiba Inu, right? Maybe. <laughs> Uh, a partnership uh, you see woof it doesn't get more exciting than this uh and delorean uh in a commercial featuring a shiba inu hum makes me wonder what the future holds uh so maybe there's some kind of partnership there i don't know uh but uh in interesting uh the things uh any fans of back to the future uh that would be i think kind of cool uh for people uh that are fans of the franchise uh, so interest interesting scenarios interesting situations interesting days ahead of us uh, and we'll see where the market goes um be very interesting to see what happens with it of course not financial advice always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest don't forget to smash the like button check out the links in the description down below remember i'll never contact you i'll never ask you to sign up to anything to send me money to click on any links nothing uh only what's in the description of this video uh so thank you for watching i hope to see you like the, the links are only on this video all right <laughs> um yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.